Hey guys, so we're on to uh, the uh, second stage here, which is uh, doing everything in its uh, final version. So, uh, meaty power supply. The uh, breadboard stuff is mounted on a bit of airboard um, with some additional future capacity here, uh, which we'll talk about in a bit later. Um, so, stepper motor driver, rotary encoder, and a new stepper motor with brake. So, just to give you a, a comparison, is a little baby one which is the same as on my 3d printer uh, and here's the big beast underneath so this guy is pretty impressive we've moved away from little small shafts with grub screws to big shafts with keys on them so I'm not sure how I'm gonna deal with that because I don't have any machine shop facilities so exactly how I couple this to the uh, to the loop remains to be seen However, I'm sure we'll cross that bridge in due course. And on the back here we have the brake, which is really like a solenoid sort of thing that just seems to detent onto the shaft. Um, and uh, it requires 24 volt DC to uh, release. When the whole thing is powered off like this, the shaft of the stepper is completely locked. You just can't move it, which is exactly what I want. If I decide to put the uh, software defined radio in, in, the, in the same enclosure, then it has the receiver piece, it has the RF amplifier, the uh, antenna amplifier piece, and it has a power supply. And uh, <coughs> this is like a 12 volt, 3 amp uh, wall wart. And I can probably throw that and just put another uh, DC to DC converter on here. That's the plan. Right, let's give it some juice and uh, have a look at it in action. Get the two of them in frame here. It's counter. I'm rotating this clockwise and it's going anti-clockwise, so I just need to swap one of the coils around, but that's no problem. You can hear that this thing makes a, a bit more of a chunky sound as it goes from step to step. But yes, so, uh, and the wonderful thing about this setup here is when you disconnect the power, it drops that, it's called a brake, but it's, it's really a detent, because when it drops, it locks the shaft. It's not like it... Inc slowly increases the friction and <laughs> as a brake it actually locks it it's detented for sure um, okay so the next step then is going to be to take all of this stuff and figure out how I'm going to build it into uh, an enclosure and uh, and design that so there we go uh, we are successfully on to the next stage we have a working stepper motor and it the brake works as exactly as I expected because the great benefit for me is when you power everything off in other words when I'm not doing shortwave listening the loop is fully locked outside so if we have bad weather especially high wind I don't have to worry about this thing uh, flopping around okay guys um, more uh, when I have some more <laughs>